The total cost to taxpayers from Trevor Mallard's false rate claim could keep climbing, with news of further legal action still underway. The revelation came at a parliamentary select committee this afternoon in which Mr Mallard fronted up for the first time to say sorry. Here's our deputy political editor, Craig McCulloch. The apology was some time coming, but when it came, it was comprehensive to the man who sued Trevor Mallard. I made a mistake. And for that, I unreservedly apologise. To MPs. Clearly, I made an error. And, you know, I've, I've apologised uh, for that error. And ultimately, to taxpayers. I made a mistake. The case goes back to May last year, when a damning report revealed widespread bullying and sexual harassment at Parliament. But the Speaker then went further. On Morning Report, Mr Mallard said he believed an accused rapist was working on the premises. Soon after, a staffer was shown the door. The man later lodged defamation proceedings. When did you realise you'd made a mistake? Uh, probably within 24 hours. Of making the initial comments? Yep. So why didn't you, why didn't you do something after the 24 hours? Why, why didn't you just turn around the next day and say... I made a mistake. I'm really sorry. I, I, that is not correct. There is not a rapist but, in the building. Because there was an employment process involved and I didn't want to interfere with it. Mr Mallard revealed the man had been seeking $450,000 in damages. He ended up with a payment of 158000 Legal costs brought the total bill to roughly a third of a million dollars. But that may not be the end of it. With this development dropped by the Chief of the Parliamentary Service, Rafael Gonzalez Montero. There is, uh, there is still a claim against the parliamentary service. Uh, By him. Mm. So, okay. So, are, are we? Is the committee now hearing that three hundred thirty-three thousand dollars is not necessarily the end of the matter in terms of the cost to the taxpayer? Yes. The separate employment case has already cost taxpayers another $37,500, and it could be much more. National's Chris Bishop is promising they won't drop the matter. The Speaker has besmirched Parliament's reputation through his actions. No opposition can have confidence in a Speaker that acts like this. National intends to declare a motion of no confidence in the new year, but as long as Trevor Mallard has Labour's backing... He's not going anywhere. Jacinda Ardern has stated she still supports the Speaker. National hopes she'll reflect over the summer break. From Parliament for Checkpoint, Craig McCullough.